In this Tag Manager guide, you're going to learn how to install the Facebook Pixel using Google Tag Manager and how to use Facebook to set up events on your website. Hey, I'm Jason, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the latest in traffic and conversion strategies to help grow your business online. Timestamps below, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, even if you're not running any Facebook traffic right now, I highly recommend installing the Pixel just so you can start collecting that information, and this will be very helpful in the future if you ever do decide to use Facebook outside of their analytics tools. And the good news is Facebook directly integrates with Google Tag Manager. So we're actually going to kick things off inside of Facebook. So wherever you are on Facebook, just go to the left-hand side. I'm in a feed right now and go ahead and click on Ads Manager. Again, timestamps below to easily jump around the video. And once we click on Ads Manager, we'll go ahead and click on our company icon here or your account. And then we will click on Events Manager. And once we do, if you haven't ever set up a pixel before for this particular account, then there will be a giant button here for you to create your first pixel. We've done this before for this account, so what we'll do is we'll click on Add Events and we will click from a new website. And once we do, we can get the code manually and paste it into Tag Manager, which is something you can do, or you can go ahead and click on Partner Integration to save some time. We'll click on Google Tag Manager here and then we will go ahead and click continue. We'll be asked to log in. So you do need to make sure that you're logging into the G Suite or Google account that has access, administrative access to the tag account, the tag manager account that you're going to be using. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then of course, if you have access to multiple accounts, make sure you choose the right one. So we are going to select Fresh Edge Advertising here and we only have one container. And once we click finish setup, Facebook will automatically install it. So there's no previewing, there's no checking. As soon as we do this, Tag Manager is now on our, or the Facebook Pixel is now on our site. And before we jump into the Tag Manager interface, we make sure everything's installed correctly or using the Pixel Helper, let's go ahead and actually set up a Pixel event. Now, depending upon your tracking, this may make more sense to do in Tag Manager, but for most of us, using Facebook itself to set up the events is going to be the easier route. So all we need to do is put in the URL of a page where we want to track a specific action. Here, I'm just going to use a basic example of a landing page, but this works with shopping carts and checkout processes as well. So I'll go ahead and paste in a landing page URL and then I will go ahead and click on Open Website. It'll open up a page in a new tab with a dialog box, and all we need to do is click on Track a New Button here. And of course, if you've set up events in the past, you can go and click on All Events, and we'll go ahead and click on Track New Button, and it will automatically detect that there's one button on this page. If there's multiple buttons, you can go ahead and click on the element that you want to be tracking. So here we're using the Get Access button and we will select the event Lead because when someone submits their email here, they are now a lead. Obviously, if we were tracking a sale or something else, we would use one of these other buttons like Add to Cart. So we'll go ahead and click on Lead here and then we will confirm it, confirm. And now we have a event on this page. When someone successfully completes this form, now they're going to be added as a lead inside of our Facebook conversion tracking. And you can see here, set up complete. And that is all there is to it, to adding events to your pages. Now, of course, there is an advanced method where you modify the Facebook pixel code inside of Tag Manager and you connect that to your tag triggers. I don't recommend doing that unless you're already playing with the data layer on your site. And if data layer is not familiar and you're like, what is he talking about? Then just go ahead and use this method. You'll save yourself a lot of headache. So we'll go ahead and click on finish setup. Yes, we will finish here. We'll skip giving feedback for now. And then we'll go ahead and click on continue and close. So we've set up an event and the Facebook pixel is on our site via Google Tag Manager. Now, before we jump into Tag Manager and you see where the Facebook pixel actually is, you can always click on add event and then click on the second option, which is from the pixel and open event setup tool and you can paste in the URL. So that's how you easily come back to creating more events in the future. So I'll go ahead and exit out of this. And now what we want to do is actually verify that the Facebook pixel is actually inside our Tag Manager account. Now, this is a little redundant because the, pic the event tool wouldn't work if the Facebook pixel wasn't on our site, but here's how you can check it. 
And I also recommend making sure that you save your pixel ID along with all of your other tracking information in your own internal documentation. So I will link up in the description to our Tag Manager playbook. It's the exact same template that we use to save all of our pixels and tags and tracking codes so we know exactly what events have been set up where. And of course, we don't have to log into our Facebook account every time we need our pixel ID for something. You can, of course, always create your own documentation. So back into the Facebook interface, we are actually done. We don't need to do anything more. So we're going to jump into Tag Manager now, the Tag Manager video that took forever to get here. And inside of our Tag Manager account, you can actually see that something was published 27 minutes ago. And so magic of editing, it looks a lot shorter than 27 minutes. So if we click on latest version and we click on latest live, you'll see that this is the Facebook Pixel ID that we just integrated with Tag Manager early in the video. So if we exit out of this interface and we click on tags, we'll be able to see the Facebook Pixel and the ID here. Now, you may want to change it because Facebook just doesn't follow any naming convention. And if we click on it, we can see that here is the custom code element and here is the Facebook Pixel. So of course, if you wanted to create a custom tag and paste in the information yourself because you need to preview things, of course you can do that as well. But the Facebook Pixel is inside a tag manager and it's on our website. Now there is another way to actually verify that it's working correctly on our site and that's going to be where we want to verify our install using the Facebook Pixel Helper because Google Tag Assistant cannot see the Facebook Pixel. Obviously Google and Facebook aren't exactly the best friends so things don't always work as easily as they could. So let's go ahead go over to Google to look for the Facebook Pixel thing and Oh my gosh, the Facebook Pixel Helper. And we'll go ahead and click on Facebook Pixel Helper. That's what you're going to search into Google. We'll go ahead and add to Chrome. It works with any Chromium-based browser. And we'll click Add Extension here. And you'll see that it's gray because there's no Facebook Pixel on this particular site. And so if we go over to our landing page and we click on the Facebook Pixel Helper, we'll be able to see our pixel and we'll be able to see the events. Now, because we haven't submitted the form, no lead event is showing up. But if we wanted to test things out, all we need to do is enter an email, click on Get Access, and then we should see that the event fires for lead when we are previewing using the Facebook Pixel Helper. Again, you have to use the Pixel Helper plugin that's free in order to see that the Facebook Pixel is actually on your site. The Google Tag Assistant plugin is not going to show it. And that is all there is to it to installing the Facebook Pixel, setting up some events on your site. Now these next two are going to be a little more advanced and that is if you want to use the Tag Assistant preview mode in order to see more details on what is actually firing on your site. So this is something advanced that you're probably going to use in the future. And the advantage of using the preview mode over just a plugin is it's just going to give you a lot more information on what tags are firing when and where. Of course, the downside is it doesn't really have access to what Facebook is doing with its events. So you're going to be able to see all of your other tags, but you're not going to be able to see what's going on with the Facebook tag or Facebook pixel. There we go. They call it pixel. So if you've done anything with Tag Manager in the past, you've probably seen something like this orange dialog box letting you know you're in preview mode. This is actually replacing that interface altogether. So here's what you need to do to go into the Google Tag Assistant preview mode, not the Tag Assistant Chrome plugin. I know they named it the same thing. Let's go ahead and test out a landing page here. So we'll go into our same Tag Manager account. I'll click on Tags and we've added some extra tags here just so you can see what preview mode actually looks like. And then we can come up to back to our home and we can go ahead and click on Preview. Now I'm going to paste in the same URL of the landing page that we looked at earlier. And then we'll leave this checkbox checked and we will go ahead and click on Start here. So once we click on start, it will open up the page in a new window. And now we're looking at the exact same landing page we set up the Facebook event for earlier. But as you'll see, we're not actually gonna be able to see that event, but we will be able to see some other tags. And the way you know that it's working is there'll be a dialog box in the bottom right-hand corner, as opposed to the dialog box that popped up here when we were working with Facebook. So we can go back over to Tag Manager you can see up here that we are actually connected. So we'll go ahead and click on continue. And then you'll be able to see all the tags that fired 
and maybe just as importantly, the tags that did not fire. So you'll see here that we can see a Google Ads conversion tag. Obviously, Google Tag Manager, Google Ads, they talk a lot more to each other than Facebook, but we can see the Facebook Pixel ID and we can see that it has actually fired. You will need to use the Facebook Pixel Helper though if you want to see your conversion tags and your events. You're going to have to be using the Facebook tools in order to test all of that out. So we can go back over to our landing page and we can click the X button and then we'll be outside of preview mode. You'll see it says no longer connected at the top. We can go ahead and click on the X button and it will save some of your previous sessions. You're probably going to take a much deeper dive into this later as you start creating some more advanced tracking, some more advanced triggers, but it's just good to know that what this tool can do and how it's here. Now, very, very important. If you already had the Facebook Pixel installed on your site in some other form or fashion, now is the time to delete it so you don't have the Facebook Pixel showing up twice. We don't want it firing twice. Now, some other areas, <laughs> some other areas that you might run into is having some issues with the other tags on your site. And so if you do wind up using Google Tag Assistant and you're trying to figure out why some other tags aren't working, green and blue means it's good to go. And then red and yellow means you should probably Google search what's going on. And the best way to do this is to click on the tag and you'll see all these error codes at the bottom as you can see with this example and just Google search them and you'll be able to quickly figure out five or 10 minutes in Google Forms what is actually going on and why something isn't necessarily working correctly. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. You're ready to go with Tag Manager, the Facebook Pixel. You know how to set up some events using the Facebook ads interface. Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe for more Tag Manager guides just like this one. Link in the cards in the description to a full-blown Tag Manager course to install all of, all of your other tags and pixels. Well, you installed your pixels, so all your other tags check out that link to the Tag Manager playbook to help you stay organized. And until the next, keep building the business you love.